Welcome back everyone to what is probably the final installment of our first playthrough of Parasite Eve. We are on board a carrier and we're going to settle the score. Yes, Aya, please, I need to give you... Forget it, she signed off already. That charm! I swear, it's the most important thing! Oh man, that tune was just picking up and they just kinda cut it off. It was appropriately timed, but I wanted to hear more of that. Oh dear. Okay, uh, how many items do I have? I can't spare anything. Um. Well, if I must drop something, then I'll drop something. Let's do this thing. Hi. So it was you. Maya. <laughs> that must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve. Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you. <laughs> Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill other creatures and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons and you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. <laughs> All organisms have something called a territory. The territory is guarded from natural enemies, but until now humans had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as history. But you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human being, and have allowed you to prosper. What? <laughs> we mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical abilities. Can't you see that it's the perfect scenario? What? Then you're saying that humans were kept alive for the mitochondria's sake? <laughs> you humans just serve as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. <laughs> but you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and will rule this earth. Oh, I think talking is over. I have a fever. And the only prescription is the ultimate technique. Oh my god. Holy crap. This is ridiculous! Worth it! Ow. Jerk. You like that burst hitting everything? Which means she apparently has several targets, I better look into that. And that really hurt, with my crazy armor. Yeah, what is- 
three targets, huh? Well, I do have burst. Come on. I can't select anything more. I think I took out her two other targets already. I win, right? Ha ha ha! I'll give you points for trying. But enough of this nonsense. Watch and learn what evolution really means! This... this ought to be good. Oh, she changed again. That's like what I look like when I use Liberate. Oh dear. Next chance I get... I have the chance now. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Interesting. Oh, I got you now. Let's see you walk away from this. Some freaking Final Fantasy limit breaks, am I right? It's like Lionheart or uh, whatever Cloud Super thing is called. Now I'm woozy for just a second. And I win! Ha! <laughs> I... I don't understand. N no! You can't be our natural enemy! No! Wow. Ooh. That is a load off my mind. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. The sixth day. Time to clean up, I guess. Yes, I will save my progress, thank you. Have to be careful where I save. I don't want to break that point of no return, am I right? Aya, come on! Aya, what's wrong? Ha! You were great, Aya! Shows that only my partner could pull it off, eh? Yes, Aya, I'm relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did Eve have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? Because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. Oh, I'm moving. All right. Got a couple things I want to take care of. I like that there's a different animation for opening the particularly heavy you know, cruiser door or aircraft carrier. No need for this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, huh? Y yes, thank you. Ah, 
Aya, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Aya! Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me, um, rather queasy. I knew it! I knew you could do it! When I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here. Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing, aren't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah, uh, you're probably tired, too. I'll take the things that are in your way, so you rest up now, you hear? Yeah, now this is important, because when you go to a New Game Plus, anything that Wayne is carrying can go with you, I think, but anything you are carrying disappears forever. So, you are absolutely holding my super tool. No question about that. I'll keep all medicines. Can can I please? Uh, you can take my tool. You can take my clamp key. I don't think I have any other items I want. Hold equipment. Look at all this cool stuff I've picked up along the way. You, you could just take my club. I, I will hold on to my club. I think I need Midas gun. Yeah. I can hold on to this vest. And this other jacket. And this protector. And that's as good as it's gonna get, I think. Okay. Hey, as a souvenir for blowing Eve away, I'll engrave your name on any weapon. Yeah, now this is important. You have to still beat the game, right? So you are allowed to carry over to a new game exactly one gun and exactly one, um, armor. So my AK. Oh, what the hell. How do I... Oh, just a circle. I'll have my Lotus equipment. Uh, no, 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 no. Start is start. And of course, my super armor. Oh, what the hell. Bam. It's great being on this cruiser, eh? Gotta tell my mom about this. Yeah. Hand me excess baggage? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that is what I am talking about. Alright, anyway. Well done. I've received some supplies from Admiral Williams. Please make use of whatever you need. Yeah, I can just take all this stuff. Ridiculous. Alright, I think, I well, you, well, you know what, if, if he has them, oh, no more medicine. I'll take Cure Darkness, just in case. So that was, uh, satisfying. Save the game. It all comes down to this. Oh boy. Here goes. This is going to be no joke. 
Some Christmas, huh? Tell me about it. Sorry we're late. We cannot approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Fair enough, considering what that thing is. Your help was greatly appreciated. Please, rest inside. As citizens of the United States... Oh! What's going on? And that wasn't me, by the way. The game auto... skipped that text. What, what, what is it? You're scaring me. That huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... It couldn't have been the uterus for the ultimate being. No. That's right, folks. We're not done. If the book could have the ultimate being, then the game can have the more ultimate being. This one was inseminated without the cell that'll kill it. <laughs> wow. Wake up. This happens. Um, ew. What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. That is the ultimate being. We didn't make it in time. What are these explosions? The mitochondrial energy must be out of control. To the point where it's causing these explosions. We will escape by helicopter. Please follow me. Guess all we can do for now is run! Aya, come on. Aya, what's wrong? I... I have to take care of this. Aya, no! Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Please hurry. Shut up, man. Aya, please take... Cut it out with the voodoo stuff already, huh? We can't be wasting time. That is kind of funny. No, Daniel, please, this is different. It's not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please. You two should go. Now. Aya, you're coming back no matter what, you hear? I love how Daniel's holding him down with, like, one hand. Oh, boy. I have to kill a one-day-old demon. That is gross. Oh, boy. I hope you don't feel guilty about killing this thing. You or me. Who's going to be the one to make it through? That's the question. Whether tis noble or in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune... Ooh, no first strike, thanks. Uh oh. Huh. Uh, oop. Not so bad. Creepy. Oh, whoa. Ugh. That, that is an attack that immediately reduces you to, like, to nothing. So I'm glad I took care of this problem already. Goodbye, ultimate being. We hardly knew ye. <sighs> oh. Is, is it growing? What's happening? Ah. Uh. Nope. Thank you, Burst. That is ridiculous. Ew. Let's get the flying stuff. Thank God. You crawling freak. Ooh. 
Wow. Cool attack. Got you, loser. This isn't even my final form. Oh, we're getting a proper sequence for this. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. This... This is the mature being? Oh. Okay. I like how I have two commands and one of them is haste. That is noticeably faster running, I'll give it that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me with this? This is ridiculous. Thank you, Auto Heal, gotta say. Look at that, just 400 HP, all for me. What the hell is this? Vicious. I think I win. No. Yes. Yes. Thank you, overly large amount of items. Are you kidding me? He looks like Chaos from Sonic Adventure. It's still growing. No, wait. Is it still evolving? Ugh. We have a zoomed out. What the hell? No. Screw this. What? Two damage, huh? Okay. I got 999 bullets, dude, and a lot of patience. Let's do this. Oh. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born. But. I want to live, too. Like all other human beings. Damn, there's no end to this. If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with Aya cells in them. Oh! So that's what you were trying to give her. But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. The one time they hold him back is the time I actually wanted the stupid thing he gave him. Stupid, give him to me! It snatches him out of his hand. Let's, let's see if Daniel's the best thrower in the world. We're getting a full scene for this one. Whoa. Uh. I do not have... No way. That is like the manliest thing. And he got the fire put out. That is ridiculous. What a badass. And I caught the bullets, by the way. Can you imagine what a throw that was? Daniel! This is from Mida. I have to see if I... Well, okay. Let me see something. Yeah, I have Mida's gun equipped. Well... Let's, let's see what they can do. Look at the picture of the bullets. They're pretty serious looking. I see. I don't have the double command thing on, but this will do. 
999 is max damage. You notice sometimes it's yellow indicating critical hit, but it's still... Oh, triple nine. I think I did it. It's like the super beam and... Uh, or the hyper beam in Super Metroid. You get it once. Oh, <gasps> did I win? Ew. Damn right. Not so tough now, are you, ultimate being? Your weakness? Me. Looks like someone's more ultimate. You freak. Daniel, oh. What are you, nemesis? You just don't die. Oh my god. There's gonna be something on the cruiser to get rid of this. Wow, this this is Nemesis. By the way, wait, it's moving? It's actually moving during this scene. Just so you know, by the way, if this thing touches me, I'm just dead, and, and that's that's the game. I didn't realize it was moving when it was just the talking. It's crazy. I, I I gotta go. 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 The engine room. Ha. Ah! Um. Uh. Um. Real quick. Well. Yeah. And okay. Oh. Okay. And this is one of those cases where I just hope you know where you're going. <laughs> the music's even faster. No pressure. No pressure. No, none at all. None at all. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh my god, this is absolutely relentless. This is terrifying. I hope this is the right... Ooh. No pressure. No pressure. I sure hope that's the right way. Okay, where 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 am I going? Where am I going? Where, th there, this? Can I can I touch this, please? If the boiler pressure shoots up, I can blow the ship to bits. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah. Do you know where we are? We're in Hell's Kitchen. Touche, but. <laughs> I assume I go up the ladder. Oh my god. Get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Ugh, it just opens doors. It's creepy. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, it's right there. That jeez, that freaking startled me. It, it appeared immediately. Oh, oh my God, it's faster. Ah, ah, ah. Why are you fast? Why are you fast? Why are you fast? Why are you fast? Why are you flying? Oh, I beat the game. I beat Parasite Eve. Jeez, I tore the ship in half. Ooh, I think we did it. If that doesn't kill the ultimate being, then I don't even know. finally over. I don't understand. Why do I have this power? Well, it's because Maya is inside of you, too, Aya. What? 
When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. That is true, I was in the same accident, was I not? Into me? Yeah. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, but... You were born with a defect in your right eye, and so Maya's cornea, oh, was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then what I saw when I touched Eve was... Well, it said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded onto the cornea, but this hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory? That was the last thing she ever saw? What, the, the moment in the hospital? As for the mitochondria that was in Aya's body, I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve. By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Me and Maya are mitochondrial power. Starting with the incident in Japan, and now with this, I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? How can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. So, sorry I'm hesitating, I'm trying to think if, uh, if the Matrix or this came first, because they both essentially say the same thing. We, in essence, are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. No, we're, we're not that weak. Well, you see, humans are, in essence, parasites. You could say that we are parasites and the world is our host. Humans are a disease. The cancer of this planet, and we are the cure. Look, the sun's coming up. All right. Come on, Aya. Here, take my hand. Thank you, Ben. Ah, oh, look at that, coming full circle. I, I'm not too good with these social events. Nah, not me. I love these things. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. This is my first time, so I'm... Mm, I'm nervous. Well, that's because you're with Aya, and she's dressed up and pretty. And she's all dressed up. What? No, no, that's not it. Of course not. It's starting, shall we? Yes, to Daniel and Ben are late, aren't they? Well, they better hurry. It's gonna start any minute now. Uh, the restroom must be really crowded. Yes, that's probably it. What's wrong? You seem tense. Well, uh, um, yes, of course. What? Oh, uh, well, since I'm going back to Japan tomorrow, I might as... That's twice that they've got- someone's got on the way- Move, Maida! Yeah, alright, made it on time, I'm sitting next to Aya. That's twice Maya- Maida hasn't been able to... 
We express his feelings. Sorry we're late. You know, once in Soho and now here. Only Ben got in the way instead of Daniel. Yeah, you see Maya's like, oh. I like to think it's the same play. With the music, it certainly sounds like it. Oh my god, it is. But of course, they have a different actress for Ava. Nice touch, huh? Ava and Eve. Father, please give me permission to marry Ava. Watch the same exact FMV. <laughs> I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Grab her. Burn her at the stake. Well, let's hope the play goes according to plan this time. That's pretty funny. The guy had the torch. They're like, oh! I don't think the guy had the torch last time. I think it might have been a spear. So this time, like, in the audience, we're like, oh my god. That's kind of a nice touch. That's, that's pretty funny. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you take my life along with hers. Edward. Alright, moment of truth. Don't kill everybody. Miss whoever you are. Um, would you mind sitting? We can't see. Sorry. Get with it, guys. Yeah, yeah, Ben's just chilling. He wasn't there for the first thing. And Maida already knows how that works. Well, we're not doing an FMV. So far, so good. Oh, but then there was singing before the FMV the first time. Well, hey, how about that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that is unsettling. Based on a novel by Hideaki Sena, yeah, I do recommend that you get that book. It's a good read. I mean, this this game kind of told you how it worked in like three sentences, like the whole book, but it's fun to actually read. That is a creepy ending. But you know what? I have some good news for you. It's not the true ending. I've mentioned a couple times in this Let's Play that there is a New Game Plus dungeon. Beating that gets you the true ending. And you know what? I think I want to go for it. Hmm. I can't skip the credits, but... General way this worked. This was a really fun game. It was. For an RPG, it's not the longest. I beat it in 12 installments. I did take three and a half hours to grind, but that was just for a super weapon, it was not for the purpose of leveling. I took maybe 20 minutes to grind those two levels. I wanted to get the liberation ability. So what's gonna happen is when I start a new game plus, 
it's plus in the sense that I believe Wayne has everything that I lent to him, but I lose everything except for my, my super weapon and my super armor, and I lose my levels too, so there's no point in grinding to level 99 a first playthrough. If you want to grind to the maximum, then you would want to do that in a New Game Plus playthrough because you don't need to go that far to beat the game on regular mode. Now with EX mode, the enemies have more HP. However, with the stupid weapons I have right now, that doesn't matter, and it won't matter until late in the game. However, the post-game, or the New Game Plus dungeon, was designed for EX mode. It's only available in EX mode. Sorry, noticing the music. And therefore, it will naturally be appropriately difficult for me. So what I'm probably going to do is play up to about the museum, go through this whole damn game, so I'm reasonably leveled, and then try tackling the EX dungeon. The problem with that dungeon is it's super hard, and it is 100 floors. I mean, every increment of 10, you can take an elevator back down, but... Oh. However, there will be a, uh, I think there are unique boss encounters. I think at least some of them are probably palette swaps of bosses we've encountered in the main game. But the final, final boss is, in fact, different. So that ought to be interesting. Therefore, it will be in my best interest to still pick up all the guns and armor I can and use tools to take their abilities and put them onto my good stuff. And in the New Game Plus dungeon, I'm going to try to find the new unique weapons, because there are special weapons and armor in the New Game Plus dungeon, and transfer their abilities to my AK. And my true god armor will also be found in the New Game Plus dungeon, and so I will try to transfer all of my abilities from my current god armor to what will become my new god armor. It ought to make for a pretty good time. Ah, here it comes. That is insane. I will be pouring those into my weapon and armor, you can be sure of that. File saved. So there's my clear data. Here comes the magical part. Time to swap discs. There it is, EX game. Don't mind if I do. Well. I think you know where this is going, so I'm going to play at least past the first dungeon and then show you something a little bit interesting. Well, I made it through day one, you know, the really short sort of tutorial dungeon. I one-shot at all the bosses because my gun is freaking ridiculous. I modded my stuff just a little bit more. 
Now my gun has an attack of 230, and my armor has 82 defense. So I'm about to exit the police station for the first time and go to the sort of overworld map where I can select this. Now that's just intimidating. Here is the Chrysler building. I can use the elevator to select every 10th floor. However, I need the key to get to that floor. What this effectively means is I need to take the stairs and do the floors one by one by one until I get to the boss at every 10th floor. Once I get the boss, I believe I get the key that takes me back up to that point. So if I want to abandon the dungeon at floor number 90, I don't have to replay the entire freaking thing to get to that point. I am not yet equipped enough to tackle this dungeon right now. But I will be. But for now, I need to stop the installment. Well, we beat the game. I think this might be the first time I've done one of these little after the video segments when I've concluded the game. I got through what is considered the normal Parasite Eve experience, so that's where most people would leave off. The New Game Plus stuff I'm going to show, yes, it does have the true ending, but it's more extra content than anything else. This is really what the main gameplay would have been. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, but I'm not doing a video epilogue yet because I plan to keep going through and show you the disaster that is the Chrysler Building. Until next time, everyone.